on my 20 week update I told you guys that I have what's called placenta previa and before I even got pregnant I had no idea what that was at my nurse's appointment I actually went in after my ultrasound after my anatomy scan about a week later and she told me yeah you have placenta previa you're gonna have a c-section and you're gonna have a premature baby and by the way I don't like this nurse at all she doesn't know what she's talking about I feel like and she's very like insensitive I don't know so she just said that and I was like whoa like shocked and I don't know it was just weird so I didn't like get emotional there because I was just like shocked because I don't want a c-section just to put that out there I wanted a all-natural birth and that kind of sucks now but anyways so that's all she said and she said I'm gonna make you an appointment with a OB and you're gonna be monitored by her and probably have a lot more ultrasounds just so she can kind of monitor you so she said tomorrow I want you to call the OB and say that I have a referral in for you and that um, you want an appointment so I did that I called I said that I want an appointment and there's a referral in she said yeah we can get you in in about three to four weeks um, because your OB is actually on holidays for two weeks and I was like no no I I'm having complications and I want to talk to my doctor I want to see her like ASAP and she's like no you just have placenta previa everything's fine you'll see her in three weeks so I was like okay so I hung up the phone <laughs> all night I was worried sick like I cried for two days and so the next day I was like F this I'm calling her again so I called and I was like okay I really would like to speak to my doctor um, I have no idea what this is this is what my nurse said and I'm still unsure of what I have and she said okay give me 20 minutes I'm gonna go and talk to your doctor and then I'll call you back with news about 30 minutes later she called me and she was like you have placenta previa but you still have an 80% chance that it's gonna move so I was freaking excited <laughs> and she um, gave me an appointment actually this upcoming week so it's been about two and a half weeks since I found out I just wanted to kind of know what placenta previa was before even putting it on YouTube because I honestly don't even know all the facts yet I googled it so I got my information on Google um, I'm just gonna kind of explain what placenta previa is the egg and the sperm meet and go through the fallopian tubes and then they want to implant themselves somewhere in the uterus I'm gonna show you on my stomach so a normal placenta would go somewhere up here so it would embed itself here, 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 blah, here. With placenta previa, you can either have low-lying, so your cervix is here, let's say. So it can be low-lying, so really close to the cervix. It can be partial, so halfway on the cervix, or complete. And guess what type I have? I have complete. <laughs> like, what are the odds? So I have complete placenta previa, and obviously that's like covering the hole and the baby can't come out or else it's gonna break the placenta or the placenta is gonna come out before and that cannot happen so that's why I will need a c-section if it does not move but I still have an 80% chance so let's hope the placenta actually doesn't move it's actually like let's say it's a balloon that's how a lot of people say and then down here is the cervix and my placenta is here but as the balloon stretches it will be pulled up and like in the balloon so it'll be pulled up to the top of the balloon it won't actually like migrate by itself kind of the complications that go along with placenta previa is the doctors usually will tell you no sex no lifting bed rest um, no like pelvic exams but my nurse didn't tell me that I can't do any of this so Google told me that like come on sorry but if you're a nurse like and you're in this you got to tell me what I can and can't do Usually with placenta previa, um, you have a high chance of bleeding throughout your pregnancy. So a lot of people actually find out that they have placenta previa because they have bleeding and they go into the doctors like, why am I bleeding? And then they usually find out. With me, I haven't had any bleeding. Thank goodness. I'm so happy for that. And I hope that I don't bleed at all. But a lot of people will have a little bit of bleeding and then the next time it'll be more bleeding and then the next time it'll be like lots of blood and then sometimes they will say like we have to deliver this baby right now so that's scary a lot of these babies are born prematurely because they don't want you going into labor 
because if you go into labor, then your contractions can actually rip your placenta apart. And you don't want that because you're going to bleed out and you're probably going to need a few blood transfusions. That's my understanding of it. So a lot of people actually do have blood transfusions when they have their C-section just because they bleed a lot. I don't know my blood type right now and I don't know if I'm RH positive or negative, blah blah blah. So I need to figure that out ASAP. I'm going to go and get my blood in three days. But as you guys know, I'm terrified of needles, knives, being cut open, blah blah blah. <laughs> I'm freaking terrified. And I actually know two people in my life one is my sister and one is Mitch's aunt that both had placenta previa. One turned out to be a crappy story, one turned out to be a good story. <laughs> so the crappy story is um, someone delivered their baby at 29 weeks and was on bed rest for like ever. And she said that her baby was in the hospital I think for five weeks. So that's really scary. And then the other girl, she had placenta previa and both of these were complete as well. She had placenta previa and hers resolved itself. So that is awesome. I'm glad for both girls that one resolved itself and one the baby was totally fine. I'm going to have another ultrasound at 28 weeks to see if it moved. And we're really hoping it does. Um, I'm gonna actually book that this week with my OB. And it's kind of exciting because I get to see him again. <laughs> I'm like excited to do that. We might not do the 3D ultrasound just because I'm gonna probably have a lot of ultrasounds. I don't know. I'll talk about that in my next update. Thank you for watching. If you have any, I don't know, like facts about placenta previa or if you had placenta previa, let me know in the comments down below how it turned out, even if it's a bad case or whatever. Um, I'd like to hear it. I'm just curious. I will let you guys know as soon as I know if it moved or if I have a scheduled C-section.